Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Juliana and I'm an illustrator. This is going to be a quick painting video of this cute little raccoon gardener character that I did for my portfolio. Before I start, um, some material information. I'm mostly just going to be painting with acrylic gouache, although right at the beginning I mixed in a bit of regular gouache and I'm painting on some Stonehenge hot press paper. I was going to update my website, so I was looking back at the work I did last year and I realized I hardly did any non-commissioned illustrations. Um, if you don't know, I mostly work on children's books, so while I made a lot of work last year, it was mostly other people's ideas. It's not that surprising to me though because I was really burnt out last year, so I really didn't do that much painting that I wasn't getting paid for. However, I'm feeling better now, and it's always good to keep up some personal work, especially the kind of work that you want to get hired for. I'd love to do a book with animal characters someday, so I'm trying to add more of those pieces to my portfolio. I've been spending a lot of time in my sketchbooks trying to update and refine my animal characters and to get them to a place where they have lots of personality and I'm also comfortable enough to draw them fairly quickly. For portfolio pieces, I want to make sure the character is active, doing something, so of course gardening is a good choice for me. Actually drawing a character using a shovel is surprisingly difficult. I've drawn lots of characters digging with a shovel in my career so far, and I have to look at a reference photo to figure out how the hands go almost every time. For the work I'm making right now, I didn't want to get too caught up in details, and I didn't want to spend too much time on a lot of foliage or anything, so I just tried to do simple shapes and not too much layering overall. I love hollyhocks, and I like that they have some height to them, plus they're pretty recognizable even when they're simplified, so I thought they'd be nice for the main flower in this garden. The other flower that the raccoon is planting is a bright pink echinacea, and I have ones just like it growing in my garden. Anyway, that is just a little background. I don't have too much more to say about this. As usual with my videos, this isn't a how-to or a painting lesson, it's just a way of sharing my process. But I hope you still find it interesting. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment, that would mean a lot to me. Now I'll just leave you with some nice music for the rest of the video. Thanks for watching and take care until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.